News 13, Eye on the Interior Sports with Jamie Schwartzwald. Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with your News 13 Eye on Interior Sports. It's Thursday, so that means puck talk, and today we're hanging with the Nooks, specifically left wing Kevin Petavello. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm doing great. All right, well, thanks for coming down. So why don't we just start off with telling everybody where you're from and some of your first memories playing hockey. I'm from Sparred, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, memories of me playing hockey when I was younger is uh, lots of racing around in the small communities in Alberta and B.C. Uh, would jump from my games to my brother's games. I remember getting changed... Uh, from my gear into my street clothes in the back of the truck so my dad could catch the end of my brother's game in a town 20 minutes away as well. So lots of traveling in the truck, lots of changing in the, in the canopy while we're racing around the rink. So those are kind of the first memories I have. Oh, that sounds really fun. So talk a little bit about Sparwood. I mean, I understand it's a pretty small community. How would you compare it to Fairbanks? Uh, it, yeah, it's, it, it's definitely much smaller in Fairbanks, but it, uh, it, it is similar in the way that uh, it's a hardworking community. Lots of coal mines surrounding Sparwood, so everyone there is, you know, blue-colored, hard-working people, a good type of people, so. Okay, on the ice, how would you define yourself as a hockey player? Oh, I, I consider myself a two-way player. I'd be responsible on both ends of the rink. I like to contribute offensively when, when I get the opportunity. At the same time, I like to create energy for the other guys and provide leadership on and off the ice. How important is that in hockey? Because, you know, I noticed the sport, it's, it's, it's an energy sport, and it seems that the team is really able to feed off of that. Do you think energy is obviously pretty important? Absolutely. Hockey is a game of momentum, and there's lots of highs and lows. So um, I think, uh, you know, providing energy is definitely a big thing. You know, you can get energy from many aspects of the game, just from guys finishing their checks or a big goal and power play and penalty kill, guys blocking shots. So momentum is definitely a big thing. And then, you know, prior to the season, you were voted by teammates and coaches as the assistant captain. First off, how much of an honor was that? And second, were you surprised with the announcement? Well, I mean, it was definitely a big honor. I wasn't so much surprised in that we got such a good, good group of guys in our locker room and everybody's so well respected. And I, uh, I appreciate the respect the guys have given me. And it's been an honor to, to work with the guys and, and Derek as captain and uh, Colonel Cam Carlson. So it's been, it was definitely an honor and it's been an, uh, a, an easy an easy transition with the people that we have in our locker room. Okay, and speaking of, of transitions, you, you dealt with an injury earlier this season. First off, how, how are you health-wise, and, and how difficult was it, you know, being off the ice? It was, it was very difficult, just in, it was the start of the year. Everything was starting to get pretty exciting. We had a good start, and then I went down with an injury, but uh, it, everything's fine now. I feel 100%. I haven't had problems with it for a while. And, uh, you know, but you see things from a different perspective when you're out. You kind of get to watch things from the stands. And it also kind of gives you that hunger to get back and, and, you know, to do things better when you get back because you don't know when that kind of stuff can happen again. So you guys are coming off a two-week road trip. Talk about the demands of being a student athlete on, on these extended road trips that you guys take. With our team, you know, lots of guys are in classes together. You can, you know, work together and talk about classes and assignments and help each other out. And at the same time, you know, the teachers have been really uh, patient with us and, you know, they've helped us out with, you know, um, giving us opportunities to, uh, to make up work and giving us stuff in advance so that we can stay on top of it. Just three more CCHA series remaining for the Nanooks. Uh, you guys have hit a bit of a rough patch in the season. What, what do you think is the team's mindset heading into these next three weeks? Well, I think for us, uh, it is coming towards the end of the year, and, and that's when you want to be playing your best hockey. And, and maybe as of late, we haven't been getting the results we've wanted, but uh, it's the process of getting to where we want to be, and I think that we're close. We, uh, you know, we've had some, some good games and not getting the results we want, but uh, you know, we're working on doing the right things so that we can get the results that we want come the end of the year. And uh, I think the best thing about this time of the year is that we're in a position to control our own destiny. So. Uh, you know, we don't expect any other teams to do us any favors, and we got an opportunity to put ourselves in a position that's going to benefit us towards the end of the year. So I think it's just a matter of getting back uh, to our winning ways and doing the things we need to do, and I think, uh, I think the opportunity is there for us to take control of that. Excellent. And then specifically this weekend, Michigan State coming in town. What do the Spartans bring to the ice? Uh, you know, they obviously have a good tradition there. They've won national championships, and there's a high expectation in that program. And, you know, they've been, in, uh, they've been nationally ranked for most of the year there. And they, you know, they're well coached team. They're hard working. You know, they stick to their system. So it's uh, it's a good uh, going to be a good match for us, and it's a good time of year to face a team like that. We're we're a team in need of uh, a good win, a good couple of wins, and what better would it be than to get some wins over some ranked teams and to uh, you know get some momentum and some confidence back in our program. 
Well, I bet you there's about 3,500 fans at the Carlson that agree with you 100%. And Kevin, I want to thank you for coming down. Thank you very much. All right, appreciate it. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of Puck Talk. Uh, Kevin and I are going to get out of here, but Micah Johnson's coming up next with your extended seven-day forecast. So for Nana Kevin Petavello, I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.